Hello guys, welcome back to Football Manager. Gemma here, bringing you the third episode. Now, firstly, I'd just like to apologise for the mishaps of the recording that would have been the third episode and the action from our 3-0 home loss to Aston Villa. Now, I know I said in the quick update that I did that would have given you the details from the Aston Villa loss that I would, was going to do the Lincoln game off camera but I thought well might as well do it the rest the rest of the next load of episodes sorry will be will conclude pre-season and show the official start to the league one season so if we just take a quick brief look at the squad what Dan Woodard's out of action there injured so it leaves us with <laughs> three subs which isn't particularly brilliant I think I might just keep, we'll just keep it at that, really. Obviously, we need those injured players back in full condition soon, so, they, so that we don't have a, a list number of subs. So it's just, you know, bring the team down in a way. Really, so I'm just going to quickly submit, submit to that team. You want to set no, select 11 players. And, oh, right, yeah. So I've added in an extra player, have I? Um, I have to bring Haman in then. I've got no choice. Um, can I show you the? Um, yeah, there we go. Right, I can change formation slightly here. Um, um, hang on, let's just try and work some cow here because I don't think any of this is going to work. Okay, got two players there. Fair enough. Right, I'm just going to quickly before the game starts, going to do this. Starting strategy is going to be counter attack it. Last time I'm all direct. Leave that as a default. We just press more on the closing down. Tackling, leave that as a default. Marking, this be type man marking. Draw those crosses in and then stick to the position. The primary playmaker is going to be um, a man. The target man is going to be um, Jermaine Easter. I think I'll leave it at that and get straight to the start of the game. Just so you know, guys, I have turned the game volume volume down so that it doesn't overpower my voice while I'm commentating on the action of the game. Plus, in the England trials day that we attended in episode two, um, I kept saying that it's a chance to sign players, it's a chance to sign players, and I'm right in saying that it was because it actually was. And um, in the recording that didn't actually happen, I op proposed a contract to two of those players. Now they haven't yet made a decision so hopefully um, after this game or slightly closer towards Chelsea, the game against Chelsea we can put something they've obviously made a decision I want over the next preseason I want to win so I want to sort of have the team to want the team to have a, a good morale so it is considering we've got a massive number of players out of action due to injury Now I know I said I'd turn the game volume down, um, but I think it may be a little bit too loud. I might have to, have to watch the recording back afterwards. It might be too loud, it might not, it might actually be just right. So, I don't know. I, can't, I don't... The only way I can turn it down is by sort of minimising the game if you like, so I don't particularly want to do in the middle of the recording, so... Yeah. Key highlights are shown as always in the gameplay, guys. So, Hutchinson on to Green. Last it towards O'Hanlon. To my list, couldn't quite get ahead to it. Green into the middle for Kerr. Gonna have a blast, and the shot goes quite a way over the bar. Dean Martin of NK Nuns now with the goal kick. Corner for Lincoln, onto Hutchinson, put Lincoln 1-0 up. Not the sort of start to this game that I particularly wanted. A draw, for me, in this game, a draw would be a satisfying result. Obviously, a win would be better than a loss. Is obviously not what I particularly want. A win or a draw is what I'm happy with, obviously, as always. Um, we need to be... Oh, God. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to put the formation back to um, I know I shouldn't have really changed the formation to be honest with you um, changing the formation is probably a really bad idea so I was going to confirm that having three I always find having three defenders at the back is always um, a not so good idea because obviously it gives the opposition more room to, um, to push through push forward and take the lead in a way so we need to sort of counter attack now I'm going to set some instructions while I'm here. So, there you go. Seem to be struggling to keep hold of the ball at the moment, considering what we've had before. The most pleasing result for me so far has got to be the 2 1 which we managed to get over uh, Middlesbrough. Um, and at the moment, I feel the defenders need to be doing their defensive jobs a bit better, personally. But, yeah, what can you do? If we can pull this back to a draw and try to go on to win it, if you like, I mean, I mean we're doing alright so far. Levin on the ball now, to, on to Easter, can he push forward? Yes, Jermaine Easter's in, Jermaine Easter gives MK Dons the equaliser that I've been looking for from them. Wanted an equaliser, he gave me one. That's brilliant. That's, that's the sort of response that I wanted the team to make after going 1-0 down. Hopefully we can sort of turn that now into another positive and take the lead. And hopefully extend onto that lead if we actually get it. Clapham. On to Facey. On to Kerr in the middle. Not a, such a great pass, even if you can get to it. And that was a sort of, in my eyes, that would have been a not so good pass because it wasn't. That was going straight to the defender. Lincoln awarded a corner now. It's going to be taken by Kerr. Whips in close to the keeper, and Andrew Hutchinson commits a foul in the box, and the free kick will be taken by Dean Martin, the MK Don's keeper. O'Keefe onto Facey who's in to put Lincoln back in front and be with a head away onto Jones. Carayol with a laughing shot going to the right hand post of Dean Martin. It's half time not far away now. It's a draw so far. One all draw. Lincoln one. MK Dons one. So you can see we've got <laughs> having Three subs isn't a good idea, especially when two of them are goalkeepers. Not a good idea, as you can tell. Stephen Gleason's going to come off. I think he could sort of make a, a good impact on what he's just made of that first. You know, I'm pleased with that, really. I'm pleased. If we can keep going and just take the lead and then possibly even extend onto that lead, that would be brilliant. So a positive, positive, some positive to go into the last two pieces of friendly games that we've got lined up which are I think they're two home games actually against Chelsea and Stoke so Jermaine Easter in now takes the shot on puts the ball wide could have quite simply and easily put the Dons to one up if we can get come away <coughs> excuse me we can come away with from this game with a victory whether it be 2-1 3-1 3-2 whatever I want a victory. I really want a victory. One, one, a, a draw is satisfying. A win would be good. Okay, with a, a, an almighty shot going towards Dean Martin there. Dean Lewington with the throw in onto Gleason. Stephen Gleason, the, the substitute. Lewington with the cross. Jermaine Easter with the shot. Anion with the save. Green makes the clearance to give the Dons a throw in. to corner. O'Hanlon at the back post. Anyon making a simple save. Green. Turner. Dumby had a chance to make a tackle there. Just didn't seem to make it. He's in tons of space, Turner. Turner's in tons of space. Audacious attempt from Casey. I mean, what I felt there 
the bad point of that was giving was giving Turn and the amount of space he was allowed to have way too much. Um, you know, maybe I would I would take a look at the condition of the players, but we've only got two goalkeepers left on the on the bench, which is pretty poor considering all the other players are injured. Not good, not good at all. Pal, on to Haman, on to Dean Lewington. Gleason's in now. Two one Dons. Stephen Gleason, the MK Dons substitute, comes on to try and make an impact and puts his club in front in the 66th minute. Brilliant. I'm, I'm pleased with that. Stephen Gleason comes on off the bench to make some sort of impact, comes on and puts his team in front. Fantastic. Pleased with his performance of the game so far since he's been on. That's rather pleasing. That's a replay of the goal there. Add Lincoln kick off again. Wilson. Adams. Still Adams. Is he going to have a shot? Yes, he is. And it goes what? All MK Dons want to try and do now is just sort of. Okay, they've got the lead. They want to try and hold on to it and possibly even expand, extend onto that as, possible, as much as possible as they can. Um, if it's possible, obviously. So, uh, Gleason, we'll carry on ball. Gleason with a tackle, which is a bit unsuccessful. Turner. Good cross. Steen Lewington doesn't get up. And Lincoln.